How do we tell that a particular uh, portfolio is held to collect or held to collect or sell? How many sales can I make in my held to collect portfolio before it becomes held to collect and sell? Where do we draw the line? IFRS 9 does not provide a quantitative threshold, which means significant judgment will be involved. Nevertheless, IFRS 9 gives us certain gauges to assess portfolio and thereby apply our judgment. Before we go and describe what a business model truly is, it's important to understand what it's not. Firstly, entity's business model is not about entity's intention for that instrument. Secondly, it's not an instrument by instrument approach to classification. Moreover, the business model does not need to be determined at a reporting entity level, which means an entity may have more than one portfolios and more than one business models for each portfolio or within that portfolio. So then what is a business model? An entity's business model is a matter of fact and not just an intention or an assertion and it's based on how the entity generates cash flows from a particular group of assets or particular portfolio. What the business model test really asks us is to tell whether the objective of holding assets in a particular portfolio is to collect contractual cash flows or is it to collect contractual cash flows and also sell those assets or just to generate cash flows by selling those assets. Now determination of this matter of fact or these objectives require judgment which should take into account all the relevant evidences including the following. First, how the performance of the portfolio is evaluated and reported. Uh, second, which risks affect the portfolio of the performance and how those risks are managed and how the managers of the portfolio are compensated. For example, if the compensation is based on the fair value of the asset or based on the cash flows collected. So let's come back to a more worrying question. How many sales in a hold to collect model before it becomes a hold to collect and sell? Where do we draw the line? According to IFRS 9, the following factors need to be considered. Firstly, in, in relation to prior period sales, we have to consider the frequency, value and timing of the prior period sales and also the reasons and conditions under which those sales were made. Now, in addition to these past evaluations, we also have to consider our expectations about future sales. In case you've been wondering, yes, there can be sales in hold to collect portfolio and it can still remain hold to collect without turning into hold to collect and sell if those sales were made for particular kinds of reasons and under particular conditions. For example, one such reason could be if the sales are made due to increase in credit risk. Think about it for a moment. The objective of the portfolio was to collect contractual cash flows. When the sale is made to prevent losses, that doesn't change the objective of the portfolio. But if the sales and hold to collect portfolio are made to manage credit concentration risk, then we'll also have to see the frequency and value of those sales. However, note that the frequency and value of the sales are considered in conjunction with the reason for sale. It is very much possible that the frequent or high value sales were made in a portfolio whose objective was held to collect and that would still remain held to collect if the reason for those sales are justifiable. For example, it can be justifiable if the entity can demonstrate why those sales do not result in changes in the business model. Uh, similarly, there could be sales in held to collect a portfolio such that they are made very close to the maturity of the instruments. Now selling our financial assets closer to maturity would mean that the proceeds of the sale would approximate the remaining cash flows from those financial assets. In which case the portfolio might still be considered held to collect. If you remember from my intuitive explanation videos, I said that the business model test is more about how likely we are to sell our financial assets anytime soon. And all the reasons and conditions we discussed are the examples of situations which do not change the primary objective of holding the asset to collect their contractual cash flows. And therefore, because of those reasons, it's, it's least likely that any randomly chosen security would be sold anytime soon before maturity. Now, if all of that is tolerable within a hold to collect business model, what makes a hold to collect and sell business model? As for FIS 9, hold to collect and sell business model can have the following objectives to manage everyday liquidity needs, to maintain a particular interest yield profile, or to match the duration of the financial assets with duration of the liabilities. Notice in each of the above examples, both collecting in contractual cash flows and selling is integral to the objective. If you're holding a particular portfolio to maintain a specific yield, you would want to collect contractual cash flows from those assets. Also, you'd want to sell those assets and shuffle those assets to maintain a particular yield. 
So this is a classic example of when the objective is to hold to collect and sell both. And therefore the frequency and value of sales in hold to collect and sell model will typically be greater than the hold to collect model. Finally, held to sell model is where the entity's primary objective from holding a particular asset is to generate cash from actively buying and selling securities. Now note that the financial assets held in held to sell business model may result in contractual cash flows during the time when they are held, but that is not integral to the objective. We are holding those financial assets to sell them and to earn profit by selling them rather than just by uh, receiving their contractual cash flows, but the, any contractual cash flows received during their holding period are incidental and not integral to the objective. I hope that clarifies the business model test. In the next video, we'll be looking at SPPI test.